Hello. Welcome to Open Fell Running. And we didn't do the lap this year. Why didn't we do the lap this year? Because I broke my ankle. Because oh, he broke his ankle. Didn't recover in time. Couldn't get enough training in. Uh, I only had a few weeks left before I was back on my feet and I, I just didn't have enough time. So we pulled out this year. But we had an idea, didn't we? We did. Dan Thompson, friend of mine from school, who got into running a couple of years back to do the Great North Run, thought it would be a good idea to do an ultra. And why not pick one of the best ultras in the country? The lap. The lap. And, and, it's low level, isn't it? <laughs> it's very low it's level. It's low level. <laughs> so he has Dan. In it's not low level. <laughs> <laughs> he has Dan. Let's see how he got on. Um, and there might be a familiar face or two with him. Take one. Well, I'm on my way. On the way to the lap. Take two. Hello and welcome to Northern Fell Running. I've been asked by Lee to document my very first ultra. Um, extremely apprehensive would be an understatement. Uh, just setting off now from Scotch Corner, made a massive mistake already because I'm stuck in gridlock traffic and cannot get out the car park. So off to a good start. It's 25 degrees, gonna be even hotter tomorrow. Gonna to be a real struggle. So if you wanna watch a 38 year old sweat their tits off for 14 hours, they're in the right place. checked all good didn't forget anything um, track has added and you even get your t-shirt before you're finished so I'm just gonna go home now Yeah, 
ko. Log jam there. Out of the log jam for now. We'll just actually start running. Up down early at night. Preferred the walking. been walking a lot of the way. It's really, really humid, absolutely sweating. Nearly done in one of my bottles already. And we'll hopefully fill them up at the first aid station in about a mile and a half or something. I'll just literally put some subtitles on to see where, where we are, because I don't really know the names of the checkpoints and all that. I don't think Alex does either. I think. Coming in at the first checkpoint, yeah. Feeling alright. Sweating like hard though. It's probably humid. It's the village hall. I'm going to fill up on some drinks and get on my way while I've got a bit of, a bit of clear out. I think this is a uh, newbie bridge. Alex is having a gel. Just had one. So I feel it a little bit coming. Coming down that hill there, on my knees, but long way to go yet, so I'll keep going. In my own. Uh, encountered a side problem, got lost. Uh, can't see any blue arrows. It's me and Alex and the three or four other guys. They, they've got their map on their garments. We've headed about half a mile up the road the wrong way. And now we're going back to join the trail again, uh, which is a bit annoying. I'm sweating like mad. Uh, aye. So that's the crack. I found the route. Missed it. Now, doing an extra mile and a bit there. And now we've got to climb up this hill. Oh, on there. Uh, Mile 12. Um, don't know how accurate that is because, uh, like I say, we went at least a mile off course, which was a pain because we're just now coming upon people that were past like 40 minutes earlier. So, had a bit of time, had a bit of distance, uh, and I think we're from the next checkpoint hopefully. Can't remember the name of it. I'm certainly still sweating. I'm feeling nearly over four liquids again. So I'm gonna fill up the fuel up. I think we've got a little bit of a big hill in between here and the checkpoint though. So so I get that done. Checkpoint. Get some water. <laughs> Lost ten seconds there. The mist hanging over the lake there. Well done. <laughs> yeah. 
that wasn't the checkpoint. <laughs> There's just a lot of people banging some uh, cowbells. There's no water. And we've got to go up that hill first, I think, by the looks of it. Never mind, we'll get it done. I don't know what this hill's called. Well, it's a nelly at the top though. Absolutely amazing view. All the mist hanging down there. I think we came from over there somewhere. Coming into the second checkpoint now, it's just a water stop. We're desperate for it. Drank everything. I'm gonna fill up here. Right. Clicking over 19 miles now. Uh, fatigue is slowly setting in. Uh, couldn't eat anything at the last stop. Ended up spewing a bit at the side. Stomach's not really great. I'm just uh, taking it slowly for the minute. Whew. Right. I'm 24 miles now. Uh, had a little wobble at the last feed station. Really struggling to get any food down us. Uh, Alex has been a big help. We've done a bit of walking on this little stretch now. We're starting to feel a bit better now. Still a very long way to go. Next one's halfway point. So, go cool, let's get there and just try and get some food down. Try not to knack myself now. And uh, just keep drinking because of the dehydration, I think. It keeps going hot and cold and uh, humid. But, we'll keep going. Keep going. I'm not gonna Alex's time, but he's, uh, he's been very patient. <laughs> very glad to see this sign here, which indicates. <coughs> oh, sorry in the gates on Elliot Troutbeck feed station hopefully I can eat something Alex is going to change his, change his shoes and socks and his top get freshened up a bit and then just try and get the second half done okay. what do you want to do first? Do you want to Get to that first. Hi. Hi. That pizza looks good. I think this is one spell pike. And then at the top. It's the heat. Absolutely. As soon as you're in the sun, absolutely crippling. You're sweating buckets the whole time. Trying to keep going and keep moving. It's definitely not easy like running up or walking it. That's just pretty much what I'm doing. I'll just do a little run there for you. We've still got enough in the tank, we'll do it. We'll do it. Here we get the summit, I think. I hope so. As a breeze, thank the Lord. Sun's out. We okay, need that breeze. So you over the top now. Sample side down there, I think. It's all the way down. Go now. All right. Getting the man. Definitely. Almost part has been here. Going up the biggest hill. Cheers. Just 
just got about 30 in, in a bit mile left. So basically just the Great North Run to do. So Alex is looking at like doing it in about 140 or something, I think. It's all downhill. It's all downhill, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> oh, absolute hardest bit so far. Absolutely done in now. Just gotta get out there. Eventually down from what we think was, what was that one called? Luffrig. Luffrig. Absolutely brutal coming down on the knees and the feet. Just on some flat now, so just trying to make up a bit of ground. Two more checkpoints. Two more checkpoints to go. Hopefully we're not far from this one. I've got no water or anything left now. Keep top up. Hopefully we'll be able to get some more food down as well. Come oh. Just coming up back a barrel. We're done in now, like big style. About 10k to go. We can it stop. Get it done. Lovely view though. Look at this guy's with dust there. Me warming out on there. Now, yeah. sorry, the camera. <laughs> we are we now. <laughs> 5k to go. Everything's hurting. Just been through the last station there. Can't get any food in us. Just feel sick as a dog. A couple of glasses of coke and fill my bottle up. Let's try and get over over the line now. Before dark. Before dark. Well, it's nearly dark now. But we'll see. We'll see. This is it. Yeah. Where are you? Lap 2023. Anti clockwise. First ultra. Absolutely horrific. <laughs> Just feel so glad to cross this line. Couldn't have done it without Alex. It's kept us going through dark times along the way. Barely hit the thing. I'm oh, coming in here now, I've got no idea what the spot time we're on or anything. Just get it over the line now, isn't it? Aye. That was a bit of fun with this video, I think. Cheers. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, nice. 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 O